Hi, my name is Hassan Mogadam. I'm a PhD candidate in mechanical engineering at North Dakota State University. Traumatic brain injury, a leading cause of death worldwide. Only in the United States, 1.7 million people suffer from traumatic brain injury. So, by, but probably the first thing that comes to your mind after hearing the brain injury term would be like medical doctors or the brain surgery. But what can a mechanical engineer do about that? That's a very good question. Okay, let's say what I want to know what happened to me, what happens to me if an explosion occurs. I cannot like say, okay, let's today take a saw and explode him to see what happens to his brain, okay? So basically, I mean like the moral issues, okay? And the experimental limitations prevent the medical doctors from doing the brain injury research. So that's the part that the mechanical engineer steps in. So basically, uh, accordingly, in my PhD research, I've been com conducting computational simulations to analyze the brain injury risk and also to evaluate the efficiency of the protective tools such as helmet or the face shield under impact and face shields and under impact and blast. I've been using a, a computer model of the human head for my research. So in the first stage of my research, what I did was basically to get to know the mechanism of the injury mechanism. So to better understand the injury mechanism, I exposed the head model to, the, to an identical blast situation from different directions. What I found was that brain showed different injury tolerances in, in each direction. So next, in the second part of my research, that was basically the, my main contribution to the research, was that I uh, started to evaluate the efficiency, the protection potential of the face shield and the helmet under impact and especially blast for the very first time. So what I found was that knowing the direction dependent brain injury response, I found that the protection potential of the protective tools such as face shield and helmet can differ greatly, can change significantly with respect to uh, the direction of the blast and also with the intensity of the blast. So another interesting finding in the second stage of my work was that I saw that um, due to the entrapment of the blast waves in the gap between the helmet and the face or uh, the helmet and the head or the face shield and the face, a high pressure region, region was formed inside that gap. That caused, uh, the, get, that caused the head to experience a high pressure on, on it itself and also it led to a significant higher injury risk. That was recognized as the, uh, as the adverse effect of the protective tools that we call it the underwash. So I believe the outcomes and the results of my research can greatly contribute to the development of uh, new protective tools to optimization of the helmet and face shield and the padding material, as well as uh, defining new injury criteria uh, based on the directionality. Thank you.